again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I would like to discuss another classic exercise routine, this time published by the legendary bodybuilder Bruce Randall. Bruce Randall was a weightlifter and competitive bodybuilder who won the 1959 Mr. Universe contest after dropping down from 425 pounds body weight to a much more streamlined 223 pounds. General weight training for the intermediate is a simple, yet elegant workout routine that anyone can follow and use to improve their physical fitness. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular routine, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. The following exercise routine can be found in Bruce Randall's 1970 publication, The Barbell Way to Physical Fitness. It is an intermediate program designed for those with moderate experience in the gym. It is a full body workout consisting of 10 strength exercises and a single warm up exercise. The program should be followed three times a week, alternating between on and off days. On your off days, train your abdominal muscles with sit ups and leg raises to keep the waist tight. As far as when to train, there is no correct time to work out. Regardless if you work out at night or in the morning, make sure to keep it consistent. Wear comfortable clothes that do not restrict movement or cause any level of discomfort. Wherever you train, make sure you have enough room to move freely. According to Randall, a barbell set of roughly 110 pounds is adequate for most new trainees. If training at home, invest in a full-size mirror to watch your form. One tip here is to always complete total contractions and perform all exercises slow. Be consistent and find a way to stay motivated. Concentrate on all movements and every rep and engage that mind-muscle connection. Remember, it's never too late to improve yourself. As already mentioned, this routine is quite simple. Exercise 1 is twists, which is the warm-up exercise for 3 sets of 30 reps. Then, leg raises for 3 sets of 15 reps to work the abdominals. Exercise 3 is the incline bench press to work the pectoralis muscles, 3 sets of 15 reps. Then, bent arm pullovers to work the rib cage and help expand it and the chest, as well as the lats for 3 sets of 10 reps. Exercise 5 is the one arm row to work the low lats and the entirety of the back, 3 sets of 10 reps. Exercise 6 is the press behind the neck to work the deltoids for 3 sets of 10 reps. Exercise 7 is the concentration curl, of course, for the biceps, 1 set of 10 reps, both arms. Exercise 8 is the French curl with a barbell for 3 sets of 10 reps to work the triceps, particularly the long head. Exercise 9 is the deep knee bend to work the entirety of the legs, mainly the quads. Exercise 10 is the two-way calf builder, which is a calf variation exercise using a barbell, and I will show both variations for one set of 15 on both variations. And then exercise 11, the final exercise, is sit-ups for the abdominals, three sets of 15 reps. If you have any questions about any of these exercises, do leave them in the comment section below and I will make sure to answer them. In this routine, twisting is the pre-workout calisthenic. It is the warm-up. In twisting, you hold a small weight in your hands and turn at the hips from side to side so that your shoulders end up at a 90 degree angle with your knees. Do three sets for 30 reps at least to warm up the body. Another really classic exercise is the leg raise. This old school exercise is performed by lying flat on a bench with your legs straight out in front of you and then bringing them over your body and head in an arc-like pattern, trying to keep them as straight as possible. This exercise is performed primarily for the lower abdominals and also helps with spine flexibility. You will perform 3 sets of 15 reps on this exercise, and if you would like, you can alternate between doing this and twists in sequence to help with spine flexibility. The incline bench press really needs no introduction, and makes a fine addition to this workout. It is the gold standard for working the upper pecs. In this particular variation, you will set the bench to 45 degrees, grab a moderately heavy barbell, lower it to the chest slowly, and press up slowly. It is a gentle dance. You don't necessarily want to have weight that is too heavy and you have to bounce off your chest, but you also don't want weight that is too light. Of course, in my demonstration, I'm using very light weight, but I'm trying to show you the form that Mr. Randall talks about in his book. You want to have a very controlled action here. If the weight is too heavy, you must lower it or risk injuring yourself. This is incredibly important. 
you will perform this exercise for three sets of 15 reps. Exercise number four is my all-time favorite exercise, the bent arm pullover. To perform this exercise, you will first lay on a supine bench with a moderately heavy barbell placed on your chest. Then, in an arc-like motion, you will bring your arms with still bent elbows around your head, bringing the barbell with it, and touching the floor at the very bottom. This exercise is used to help expand the rib cage, help grow the chest, and it also works the lats. It is truly a great muscle builder. You will perform this exercise for three sets of 10 reps in total. Exercise number five is just about the best lat exercise there is, the one arm row. For this exercise, you will place one hand on a bench and your working hand around a fairly heavy dumbbell. Then, using primarily your lats, you will bring that dumbbell up to your chest. You will perform this exercise for three sets of 10 reps, rotating between each arm. Exercise number six, the press behind the neck, is an exercise I'm sure many of you are going to wince at. To perform this exercise, you will place a moderately heavy barbell on your upper traps and shoulders before pressing it overhead. If this causes you any level of pain or discomfort, you can instead bring the barbell in front of your body. You will perform this exercise for three sets of 10 reps. The concentration curl is a really fantastic bicep exercise that utilizes only a single dumbbell. To perform this exercise, you will grasp a moderately heavy dumbbell in one hand before placing your elbow against your inner thigh. Then you will curl up as I am doing here before going back down to full extension. Your opposite hand will brace against your other leg. You will then switch arms and perform for the same number of reps. For this exercise, you will only do a single set with your left hand and then a single set with your right hand. The French curl was often regarded by guys like Bill Pearl and Bruce Randall as probably the best tricep builder there is, for absolute mass. Essentially, it is a standing tricep extension using a barbell. To perform this exercise, you will have your hands at about 10 inches apart, with the barbell over your head, and then you will bring the barbell down to your shoulders, bending only at the elbow. This gives an absolutely incredible stretch and really works the long head of the tricep in a way that I don't think any other exercise can replicate. For this exercise, you will perform three sets of 10 reps. The deep knee bend is a quite involved exercise and I will not go into full detail here. Essentially what Bruce talks about in his book is you want to make sure that you perform a warm up before you actually add any weight at all. He recommends doing one set of 20 reps just with your body weight to warm up the knees and hips. A deep knee bend is a squat where you drop all the way down, but you want to make sure that you bring your body down slowly and that you actually don't bounce off the calves. You want to use all leg power when you go back up. This is quite different from how we see powerlifters do squat now, where they quite literally bounce off their calves. You are not trying to do this here. Instead, you are using the muscles in your quads to bring your body back up slow. Of course, I am using very light weight again, but you shouldn't go very heavy on this. You won't need to, especially considering the range of motion you are putting your body through here. You will perform three sets of 10 reps. And in this exercise in particular, if you have any questions, make sure to check out my video I have made on the deep knee bends. This calf raise variation is another one I have discussed before. For this particular exercise, we will be doing two different variations of calf raises. The first one with the toes pointed in, and then the second one with the toes pointed out. And this is described by Mr. Randall as the best way of developing the entirety of the calves. Although I would argue going in, out, and then the toes facing forward, the three-way calf raise is better, but that is my opinion. To perform this exercise though, you will place a moderately heavy barbell on your upper thighs, or lower thighs I should say, and to make this more comfortable, I would recommend wrapping the barbell in either a towel or a mat, just so it's not digging into your legs too much. Then you need some source of elevation, be it books, a 2x4, a 4x4, anything to get your the balls of your feet elevated off the ground. And then you will do a full calf raise in the seated position here. Essentially, you've made your own calf raise machine, the ones you will often see at the gym, except you are using a barbell. This is a very effective exercise, and I would highly recommend it if you're not already performing it, especially if you have weak calves. 
you will do just one set of each variation for 15 reps in total. The final exercise here, exercise 11, is the sit-up. Bruce Randall's demonstration in his book actually shows him with a barbell on top of his heels. I actually don't like doing it this way, but you're totally able to do it this way if you would like. Personally, I just having, like having my legs flat like this, and if they move a little bit, that feels a lot more natural to me. But this is the same as the full sit-up that Eugene Sando actually used to promote. And you were starting all the way flat with your legs flat and your upper back flat on the ground. And then you were crunching all the way up until your elbows are touching your knees. A lot of people have asked me if this causes any lower back pain. I don't think so. I've never had any performing it. And it is absolutely, in my mind, the best way to perform sit-ups. It works the entirety of the abdominals. For this particular exercise, you will be performing three sets of 15 reps. And that is all I have for you today. That is all 11 exercises here in Bruce Randall's routine. If you're interested in more routines by Bruce Randall or any bodybuilders in particular, do let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.